Hi, my name's Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Ford Ka, or car, however you want to pronounce it or say it. Uh, then I'll take you for a drive in it, but first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 1.2 Studio. It's Euro 5, three door, 1242 cc, 2011 on a 61 plate, has done 68,060 miles. Fuel economy, urban, 44.8 miles per gallon, extra urban, 54.2 miles per gallon and combined is 55.4 miles per gallon. Has a 0 to 60 time of 12.8 seconds and a top speed of 99 miles an hour out of a 68 brake horsepower, four cylinder, eight valve engine. Not much to say, ideal first car, good on insurance, something to practice on too. There's no stupid iPad things in it no fancy electrics, it's just a good basic car that will be cheap to maintain, cheap to repair. It's a great colour combination and, and, and pretty stylish in my opinion. We've got the matte black uh, window surrounds, door mirrors, good lines up the side. There's a couple of styling uh, things I can't quite work out. One of them is to me, they look like rocket launchers off a, an Apache helicopter or something. I'm not quite sure what they're supposed to be, but anyway, Ford Oval. It's not that difficult, is it? <laughs> you know, bar open, close, and tailgates come in handy, but let's be fair, you can't beat a key. So, the hard rear load cover, there's plenty of room, it's quite a deep boot. Um, I've got my camera bag in, tripod, big coat, uh, and, and there's, there's plenty of room. So, ideal second car, ideal first car uh, for somebody learning to drive. It's, uh, it's a, a brilliant little thing, again. Zzz, I mean, power open, power closed tailgate. What you have to do is a switch here. So you've got to lift your arm up to press the switch. While you're lifting your arm up, you may as well just do this. <laughs> we used to sell plenty of cars like this. Um, and it was, it was quite a good feeling really because a first car, you're giving somebody the, their independence and, and they're kind of going out into the big wide world, uh, hopefully to be careful and, and not do anything stupid in the, in the car, of course. But um, I, I miss these type of cars uh, and, and I miss the, uh, the customers and uh, the young lady came to have a look at this the other day. It's going to be her first car and uh, as I say, she's like breaking away from her family. It's quite a strange process really, um, getting a first car. Um, but anyway, let's go for a ride. Dispense with a jacket. Now, the, the first thing you notice is that these bags of room. I mean, I'm, I'm, my leg's fairly stretched there and I'm not all the way back on the, uh, on the seat. You've got here, just turn it on first. So you've also got height adjustable steering wheel there. I'll get that down a bit. Nice manual car. And although a lot of people are learning to drive in um, automatics these days because we, we are moving towards automatics even in the little ones and especially when EVs take over everything will be automatic but when you learn to drive in a manual car it gives you that bit extra knowledge really of, of how things work and what you should be doing what the car's actually doing underneath you especially in, in you know icy conditions I suppose um, so I think it's important that people should at least be able to drive a manual car. So let's get going anyway. I won't go the usual way today. I don't think this uh, anybody will be buying a KA to uh, or car to fly down the motorway. Van come in.
nice light clutch, easy gearbox. As I say that, you know, first cars, um, cars these days, there's too much for people. You're not allowed to use your phone, but yet, you know, you've got to go on an iPad to turn your fan heater up. It's just, it doesn't make sense to me at all. You keep these things simple. The longer you have to take your eyes off the road, the more chance you have of having an accident. So, uh, again, muscle memory. It, a good datum point, I suppose, is your, is your gear stick and just forward to your switches, your rotary controls. No ambiguity with the rotary controls. You know where you turn it. If you want the heater up, you turn it like so. If you want the fan up, nice hot air blowing through. I've got, I've actually got quite thick boots on as well, which, uh, although the clutch is light, unfortunately my, my touch isn't. Everybody's had a Ford, to be fair. The probably the the best driving little car, medium sized car, um, you know, Focus, Mondeos, and so on. And this is just like a scaled down version. And that's a micro there. You see the size of the micro. It's not. Uh, it's not like it used to be. It's actually a, a big cra. Whereas this is quite petite. But, but, but as I say, plenty of room. Look at this. What? Watch how you wind the windows down. Nothing to go wrong. Nothing to go wrong. Nice cheap car to run. Easy to drive. Does have stop start. Knock that off. Your heated rear screen there. Airflow for your hot air or cool air. Little vents that you can knock off. Actually, I, I want them. those in my uh, Citroen Ami. I wonder if they sell them se separately. Those. There you go. You. Oh yeah, that's brilliant. Those would be ideal. Just a nice car, and you can tell it's no, it's not had any hardware by the look of it. It's certainly not had a, a guy with rough hands driving it. All the little dimples are still on the steering wheel. It's not worn out. The seats are nice. They're not being squashed or flattened. In fact, this seat feels like a new one. I feel like I'm sat really high up. It's got a radio CD in it. Nothing to distract you when you're driving. great little car for nipping to the shops in, or as I say, a first car. Somebody learning to drive. Somebody's just passed the test. And 
and uh, well according to the people that came the other day they uh, they are the cheapest to insure It's a nice car, there's not really much else to say. You can see we came up the dual carriageway there, not too noisy, not too much tyre noise, uh, nice and easy to drive. I've not got the fan on at the moment, it's misting up a little bit there. And gosh, warm air shooting out there. Certainly got a good heater. fifth there, cruise along at 30 miles an hour. All good, all good. I'll finish the test drive there. Um, nothing really I can report. Um, nice car for Christmas. Probably the last video I'll do before Christmas or test drive so um, it uh, only leaves me to say happy Christmas to all our customers and a, a prosperous new year and to all our followers on social media and uh, our YouTube sites um, and everyone at Nikos too, my, my favourite bar in Preston. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video, bye bye.